Let's do it. Really departed. Why did you come and run got it? Competition get discarded. This here is uncharted. Territory avant-garde. I don't wanna be bombarded. For love, I'm a martyr. Do everything and I go harder. Everything gotta be larger. No help from my father. But no excuses. I harbor the climate. The hill with no harbor. Do right and be proper. Ever since birth, I'm a monster. I'm right in the pocket. But chatter. First on a grunt. You think I do it for spark. I can feel like I'm doing it for parlor. I've been through the trauma. So it's no time for the drama. And that's on every other llama. I'm there with the commas. Such I find your honor. What else could a nigga conjure when living for dollars? For luck, I was dealing with dollars. But everyone. Isn't a scholar, they live in a squalor No, I don't need any armor I have no fear on my job, blur, that's on my mama Oh, they mistake no pajamas, that's over it Then that's a promise, no need to be modest Cause when I jump up and honest So fuck any hatred, you harness Little bitch, I'm a goddess Already know I'm a problem Already know I'm the hottest Be sorry, you doubt it Don't really cast, they cloud it But all that I do is astound it Bitches, they count it Already know I'm a problem Already know I'm the hottest Be sorry, you doubt it Don't really cast, they cloud it But all that I do is astounding, ho Play no games, play no games, uh We know where to say no names Let's me, I don't know a thing Especially if you on the same I done seen it, I done done it all Fuck the bag, I want it all Fuck the bag, I want it all Fuck the bag, I want it all I want it all, I want it all Yeah, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We back, we back, we back, we back, we back. Yeah. Another episode of Josh, regular Josh. Yeah, I forgot my own name. How the fuck Come you on forget now. your own name? Hey, <laughs> you been smoking before? Before the show? Nah, I'm off edible, so I just... I, mean, <laughs> I ain't no telling how this shit might go. Okay. Let's try it again. But it's going to go good regardless, though. It's going to go good regardless. So this episode, I got a very special guest. I might. Artist. Producer. Oh, yeah. Scorer, mm-hmm. in more ways than one. <laughs> Probably can't hoop no more though. But we go. Oh, that's a whole different. Took it back on you. <laughs> <laughs> took it back. We got Jay, motherfucker Josephine in the goddamn building. Yeah, man. <laughs> Spin up, man. Day by day, every day, just working, grinding. How we see. Yeah. Consistency is crazy. Consistency is key. <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a bar. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, man, um, we finally get to do this in person. Last oh. interview was like COVID, COVID and we had to do the shit through the Zoom and it yeah. was it was a good interview though. It was no, still for sure. but this is it's nothing like this though. Oh yeah. And we've been we've been supposed to did this even without the whole interview setting. Like this was been we supposed, supposed to, to happen. get up, yeah, so. for sure. But yeah, man, it's 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 been a nice nice couple of years. A it's, decent it, couple of years. Last time I talked to you, um, I had landed the HBO Lovecraft Country placement. Mm-hmm. It's been a lot of placements since then. Yeah, we're gonna get into that. Matter of fact, we can we can go ahead and start with that though. So like TV scores, movie scores, commercial. Shh, got I, fucking milk. <laughs> like I, I can't not say that without cussing, cause like <laughs> Hey yo, I don't even drink milk, <clears throat> but I was definitely grateful for that placement. Yeah. Um to be honest with you, that's not even one of the songs I like. You you will be surprised what the music supervisors and what these people really want from you. You know what I'm saying? So anything that you do, all the magic that you create, you got to put it out there and let people hear it. You know for what I'm sure. saying? Because you don't never know. Like 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 that song, I don't like it, but I got a placement for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She she be fussing me out all the time. Put the shit out. All the time. Like You literally fussed me out like two weeks ago about that same shit. I, I, did you put it out though? <laughs> it's coming. Okay. It's coming. It's coming. All right. I told you. I'm trying that. to do it. I'm trying to do it the right way. Yeah. So now nah, it's coming for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, nah, got milk is cra- like, cause you know we like grew up on them got milk commercials. Yeah. Like, like did you know that it was a uh, a whole big industry thing that pressed milk when we were like back in the day when we were kids, like they put like a billion dollars into the the dairy industry because it was falling and that's why you have yeah. all of these got milk commercials i'm sure with the milk mustache and all mm-hmm. that dumb shit like we was kids we trying to get the milk mustache yeah, like yeah. not realizing that we drinking fucking bleached pus and <laughs> all kind of oh weird ass God. shit that's in there you like we drink anim- other animals milk that's just- yo i say that shit all the time like it's three things up here so we do shot of clock and i say even if you don't drink liquor take a shot with it if water juice whatever we condone anything except hawaiian punch and butt naked milk <laughs> and that's what i call that shit is butt naked that shit is nasty yeah that's so. all. wait wait and it's mad other options like i ain't trying to push you know nothing on nobody but we got oat milk we got rice milk we got coconut yeah, milk we I got almond milk. It's, milk it's so all that shit good in cereal when it's cold <laughs> 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 sure. but yeah um 
Nah, but that's definitely dope. So how many um how many scores are you so currently sitting at? Do you keep count? N- well, not really, <laughs> because now I'm doing um like I'm composing ads. Like I just mm-hmm. did a Old Navy ad, Old Navy Christmas ad. Okay, clap it, man. <laughs> Fuck up, man. That's fire. <laughs> yeah, bro. that's fire. I never really thought that um. I would have even got something like that because a lot of people don't even know I, I produce. Yeah. So I've been actually um, just extending uh, my talents a little bit more into that because it it pays. Everything pays. So. Sure. Um, so I've been doing that. But like as far as like TV and film, as far as uh, like my actual vocals and everything up there, I think I'm at um, about like over 38. Okay. I, I, looking at my ASCAP. And that's just on the ASCAP. I like, yeah. Because some of them, they don't register or come in for a couple of quarters. So, nah, that's but, good. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Mailbox right now. money. Yeah, mailbox <laughs> money. And it's real. Nah, and then, you know, that's, that's, that's definitely like something. So, what got you into doing that? Did you just like, did one fall on you and you say, I'm going to do this? Or did, was it strategic or was it like, yo, happenstance? Like, we, it, it just went that way and you was like, fuck it, this is what I'm doing. That's what happened. Okay. Um, we were we moved to California. Mm-hmm. We were like, yo, we just going to take a shot and see what's up. My, my producer at the time was over there and he had just graduated from um, LA recording and film school mm-hmm. over there. And, um, one of his uh, old professors hit him up and was like, hey, do you happen to know any female rappers? Because we're um, placing these songs on Pussy Valley because it wasn't called yeah. Pea Valley at the time. And so um, he was like, yeah, I, I, my sister. And so we did like nine songs and we, I didn't get none of them placed on Pea Valley. I ended mm-hmm. up getting it placed on Lovecraft Country. And that was the first deal that like it just... We was in L.A. for, what, like six months before that happened? Yeah. 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 Like, so it only took about six months, but it just happened to happen that way. And when so I seen... So it was seen, meant for you. No, well, yeah. And then when for I sure. seen how it worked, I was like, oh, I could stay home, make money. I don't got a tour. I don't even need... Yeah. I don't even need the label's budget to yeah. make the money that I really want to make. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So I just ran with it. I was like, whatever I can do, whatever I possible. Like, I got her... We got a placement on... Yeah. On um, MTV's, uh, um, uh, it's on VH1. Uh, VH1. Closer to you. It's on VH1. It's uh, called Caught with Tammy Roman. Okay. And yeah. so, um, yeah, better. Poppy it's Joplin. Better. She even got <laughs> she even got a uh, placement this summer on, on on VH1. So. And I have one in Brazil too. I yeah. Have a placement in Brazil. Some talk your shit. Show. Talk <laughs> your <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't know where what television show it is, but they, they're still on and they Stop it though. Let me that part. <laughs> That shit, like, I'm the only, I'm the only shit that's in English over there, but it don't matter. Yeah, Fuck right. it. Like, like, they used me? I don't know why, but they took it, so. Nah, but yeah, so once I see how it worked, and it's a system, and it's just like, um, once you figure out how any other system works, you can really pretty much just work that jump. Yeah. And just see where you fit, and I seen that there was a lack of um, authentic. Us. <laughs> yeah, authentic hip hop in the TV film world. Yeah, and Urban so music. I was like, oh, okay, bet. And so I just kind of learned how to polish my my myself so yeah. that it could be universally heard, but I could still be authentic to myself. For sure. And I mean, like you say, it's it's, it's not a lot of that authenticity because like most of the shit that you hear from like placements and shit it'd be like that video game hip hop that shit sound like it's supposed to be in like the menu of Sonic or some shit like that right. but and don't trip on that I got a Tetris placement I see that <laughs> Tetris movie. yeah look man and so things have changed um, as far as how where music's everywhere yeah so they want to put music everywhere so yeah. I tell anybody that with any talent that's where you want to go that's yeah. what you want to do but I always tell people it's the soundtrack to life exactly like regardless of what like it don't matter if you just want to meditate. You most people put on some little low sonic music to you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. lo fi when you studying right. when mm-hmm. you going through some shit. You right. might throw that Mary J on or it's throw on some moment, when it's music. fuck that bitch. You throwing on Brent like it's, <laughs> yeah. it's you know what I'm saying. But when you party like it's 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 music is there's literally a, a lane for everything right like literally everything right. right. And but what I well the the radio hip hop that you hearing though. It's not, that's not really going to be a full lane in TV film mm-hmm. all the way. And the only reason I say that is because you got to censor it. Yeah. And all of those songs that you be hearing on the radio. It's like I you, think people get it confused that, like, she has art that she makes. Like, that's Jade Josephine, yeah. which y'all know her for. And then this is a job. 
Yeah. So when they say yeah. we need a sassy female, and Jay don't feel like being sassy when she, when she <laughs> hear this beat. She's like, how am I supposed to be sassy on this beat? What does sassy even mean to them. nowadays yeah. where you're not talking about your, you know, everything else in yeah. between? Right. So and, all the briefs we get is like it's like homework. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They say we need this type of BPM at the, with this note and it needs this is the mood it needs to be. So yeah. it needs to be happy or confident or um cocky or like she said, sassy. sassy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I had um one brief that was like, We want it to be sassy and fun, but not sexy and I was like, What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I had to so it is it does get a little difficult and you do got to step outside yourself. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's worth it. So is that is that more of a gift or a curse? Cuz it's like you kind of pushing your limits so now you get to see what I, more I think it's a gift a, so you can yeah. just keep building and becoming a better lyricist cuz I feel like if you can't adjust and um just do other genres and mm-hmm. and rap on anything then what are you really doing this for? Like it's dope that we can have all right like Run DMC did it first. Well, as far as we, I know, as far as with hip hop, Adidas. Yeah, you know I'm saying and and doing dun 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 dun. You know what yeah. I mean? Like and doing the the genre blend, and then Hove did it, and and then next thing you know, Nelly, Nelly yeah. with this but country stuff. When you look right now, every time that somebody did it, it worked. But that's just the thing is, if you it's think to the about point it, now, not to cut you off, mm-hmm. uh, but it's to the point now where like. If you listen to some country songs, like a lot of that shit got they, a hip hop vibe to it. Like the whole they have in the background is it's it's an undertone a, of hip hop. Yes. Yeah. But that's why I say, um, the the newer artists have to learn how to get on everything and appreciate yeah. all types of music because it's you gotta be able to be flexible, make that money the right way. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like our artists always complain about not making enough money or oh the streams is bad. Yeah, streams are horrible. Yeah, but you need to figure out a way to, you mean compensate, make that bread back. You know what I'm saying? Sinking licenses is probably the easiest way. Yeah, because I mean, realistically, streams ain't going nowhere until the uh, labels figure out. Well, you heard that about Spotify, right? <coughs> Something new happened. <coughs> if you don't have um a thousand followers, they're mm-hmm. not going to count your streams. That's crazy. And they're going to put it into so if you a getting, mass fund. What would that even mean, though? <coughs> what does that even So if you're getting like a billion streams, um, you have a big following, but not a lot of followers. You don't have a thousand, they're not going to count them. And so, yo, because like a lot of, because I know a lot of people on the music apps don't really follow their favorite artists. They mm-hmm. put them in their playlist and shit like that, but they don't. They're not following them. them. That's not how it works. Yeah, that's crazy. But, Especially but they're just, trying to get rid of bots. Because a lot so of the labels are buying with bots. Sh- yeah. With Shazam and all of that, though. No, the Shazams are real. Okay. Cause you can't really fake a Shazam. Somebody's yeah. but I literally just know trying how to You can't have a streaming form with like, sh- like just Shazam just going because you still got to have the the, right. the music for it to bite on. So. Right, 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 right. But then it's just feeding into all these platforms, though. But nobody's adding Ja or Jade. They just... Well, no, I get added, but they're not following me on these platforms. So they're not... They're not like on Spotify, they're not following me, but they'll add it to their playlist right. or add it to that's whatever. Terrible. Yeah, so that, but that's that's how it works. And some of my best friends, you know, now on Apple, you can see who listens to what other songs. Yeah. So you'd be like, oh, let's see what they listen to. I don't think any of my friends that are that follow me on Apple have mm-hmm. listened to any of my new music. Yeah, and I can see it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You know, unless they listening on Spotify or, yeah. or Tidal. Well, I use Tidal, yeah. So, yeah. So, so unless they're because they got the videos and shit, I ain't plugging yeah. them. But yeah, <laughs> but see, like, yeah. So unless they doing that, so like, and I'll be telling artists that too. A lot of your fans and your biggest supporters are not even going to be your best friends and yeah. family members. Is not. And I mean, a lot of the times, like, I I don't really subscribe to that though like because i don't make music for my friends or i don't make mm-hmm. anything like i don't start businesses for my friends right. i mean i started for them you know right for us to eat on but i don't mean like as far as support like the the the, the co-founder of mcdonald's or the founders of mcdonald's they not like yo i hope my cousin come in here and buy a burger today right. they just want somebody to come in this bitch right or a thousand somebody's to come in here and buy a burger so if right. my cousin don't come or my aunt don't come or the person i grew up with don't come buy a burger i ain't gonna knock them right as but long ar- as the, artists take yeah. that to the heart. Mm-hmm. Man. You know what I'm saying? I think it's like one but of the artists only artists subjective industry. too. True. So like... That's true. One of my favorite songs I have is Where's Your Daddy? And I'm talking, literally talking about fucking mm-hmm. people's yeah. fathers. <laughs> 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 like, 
It's one of my favorites. I can't show it to my dad. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So you don't make music for everybody. Speaking of which, are we gonna get this pop? I'm, I don't not the EP. <laughs> we want we need that like when is the album coming? Actually, and don't flip that question on me because this ain't my interview. Mm, goddamn! I was about to. I was about to say. <laughs> this ain't, this well, ain't my interview. <laughs> moreover, no, but okay. So I have everything that I would need for an album, mm-hmm. but it's all over the place. Yeah, it, it, it got to be right, and that's, you know, that's and yeah. nobody really knows me and what my real style or anything is, and because it's all over the place. Yeah, because like, like you see a lot of future featuring Poppy Island. Uh, like you see a lot of featuring. <laughs> You hear the skits. You I'm hear the different literally like literally a studio rat. Just in yeah. wherever I can get in, I'll fit in, basically. But I got songs upon songs. Yeah, like songs. singing songs, real rap songs. Yeah, poetry. Poetry. That's For what sure. people really like. She started with the poetry, and I was like having her just doing spoken word on like the intros and outros yeah. in the very beginning, <laughs> and then some of it I was like, "Yo, these are bars. We need to turn them yeah. into bars." Taught her how to count bars she can write. Like, it just that simple. I taught her how to make beats in, like, what? It was, like, a week. A week. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, like, everybody thought she was, like, Spliff Star. No disrespect to him, because mm. he's a I fucking live. legend. That's but, my, one but of my things. They, they they thought you was that until they seen you like oh oh shit she got verses on these motherfucking songs yeah we got a funny story about Split Star too <laughs> and y'all like and y'all when y'all perform like do y'all motherfucking like in, y'all be in the living room like yeah <laughs> practicing that shit yes because yeah. that shit is so cohesive like when y'all on the stage <laughs> we together live like together, so it's like I mean I know that but you in, know in the car rappers do like a lot of times like even like some of the greatest performers like like Buster he say he don't he don't practice he don't rehearse so I don't know if if that shit is just organic or it's rehearsal or is it like a just a mixture of both? Well, the thing is, I write two to three songs every single day. Mm-hmm. So because I write so much, whenever I do have a show, I have to go back to those songs. Yeah. Like and remember so it don't, I don't and get caught up in a bar. Yeah, and I rap past the shit. Like, yeah. So I don't want to get caught up in one bar and it leads to a different verse and another yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that'll happen. So... I take the rehearsing like very seriously. She she know I don't really don't be playing about it like at mm-hmm. all. And luckily, like we not rehearsing dance moves and stuff like that. That just actually happens yeah. the way our body flows. But lyrically, anytime I fall off, she catch it. She know yeah. where I'm at and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She is literally female split star though. Yeah. Like, but oh, I mean that's the thing. You can't fake chemistry. Yeah. Like that Thank that you. shit is just something that's just you either have it or you don't have it. Right. Yeah. So and you like and y'all got that shit. Thank you. Especially on that stage. Thank, Thank you. you. So um but yeah, um so speaking of producing, so I got a question. Artist or producer? Which one would I rather be? Not would you rather be. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you uh cuz I know you love them both and I know they're both a passion well, but like I mean, rapping just If somebody comes came first. to you like right now and was like, "Yo, red or blue pill, you have to stop doing one of these two. Yeah, I would still keep rapping. Okay. Uh, it's just, it came first. It's like, and it's very, very natural to me. So if you told me I couldn't rap anymore, then what the fuck are we doing this for? Yeah. I mean, I like, I I love producing and I could find ways to express myself, but I was born with this voice. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm, I gotta rap. Gotta rap. I like Every, that. Yeah, everybody in my family rap. They either rap rappers or nurses. <laughs> For real. So, um, so when it comes to uh, like your creative process, like, do you have a certain ritual you do, or just like, because every you know, it, it, like, well, well, what's your creative different. process like? Well, my it's different now. Like in in before where I was doing it just for the passion. Mm-hmm. Then it would be just something like this. Like, we would all just be vibing, listening to beats yeah. and, you know, smoking and we do whatever. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But now I get up in the morning like it's a nine to five, check mm-hmm. my emails to see if there are any um, briefs. And that's basically like descriptions of the songs that they need. And then I go f- go at it from there. Like, I literally, I treat it like a nine to five. So I answer emails and do songs from, the, from those emails every yeah. single day. And then I get production from different... Um, uh, different producers that are assigned with different pub companies. That's the only reason why um, I'm so successful is because I'm consistent and I work with other artists. I collaborate. Mm-hmm. 
but my collaborations are consistent. If you ask me for a record, I'm going to give it to you either yeah. that night or the next day. It's not going to be next week or next month or none of that. Yeah, I'm glad you reminded me six months later because now nah, I done forgot. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, like I can't Time do that. Pass, yeah. yeah, like, and then the way that I, I'm I'm put, what, what we're doing together, like, so boom, I get mm-hmm. you in the studio. My intent is by the, by the end of it, that song needs to be able to be pitched to a pub company so we mm-hmm. can make some money off of it. Okay. Otherwise, what are we doing this for? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even when I'm creating my art, they're still in the back of my mind. It's like, okay, will this be dope on a TV show? Or will yeah. this be dope on a movie? Can it still be synced? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now everything is about it being synced to a visual for me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Sometimes I'll, I'll watch it like Nike commercials or... Um, just we watch mo- a lot of stuff yeah, on mute, on mute. Yeah. and then I'll compose from how it makes me feel, you yeah. know, from there, you know. Free game. Like, that's what I <laughs> yeah. That 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 is like key. Yeah. Like if you, some of your favorite TV shows, it, you see a scene that you like in it, see what song they playing on it, and yeah. then be like, can I make a better one? <laughs> and do that. Yeah. And then send it, because nine times out of ten, somebody's gonna pick it up. And at least have it in their library. I got a lot of the the songs that I have in libraries. I got paid for just to put it in their library. You know what I'm saying? Before I even get a sync fee, they they just give me a thousand dollars per song. Yeah, yeah. they gotta have the cars in the lot. They can't sell any of these songs without it being in the lot. Yeah, right. that's basically. And then if they want to qualify as a publishing company, they have to have a certain amount of of songs in that library and different genres like otherwise oh yeah you know what i'm saying it's so, a no-go and that's another thing man y'all need to get y'all see how she know the business hey like yeah. you gotta know the business hey. and that's an everyday thing i come yeah. home she's already it's, it sound like crazy white men talking to her but she's listening to other tutorials yeah. or she's in a webinar with somebody talking about how all zoom this calls yeah like I, i'm the, trying to do everything it's not all that cute <laughs> no nah, <laughs> at but, all but if you stay stay on it and stick to it like you let you you get if you get any one opportunity it, it'll lead to yeah. many if you make it happen yeah. that's what anything you do though so mm-hmm. but yeah i mean Maybe, but that'd be a thing though like some people consistent, some people complacent. And then some people just, like, lazy. That's hell. So it's it's not that they can't. I'm good right now. It's not that they can't or they, they not talented. They just, they literally just lazy. Or they don't want to do that work, which is, to me, lazy. Like it's, it's, it's artists I know with studios in their home that still owe me features. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They still owe me features. And what's crazy is I'm not asking them for these features to just throw on yeah. Apple. I'm asking for these features because I need a male vocal yeah. for this hook so we can pitch it to the NFL yeah. or we could pitch it to the NBA so it's versatility on the record. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I just want people to, or the artists that I'm like reaching out to to understand, yeah. like, yo, it's a real I'm trying to get you money. <laughs> I'm trying to get you put on. <laughs> like, yeah, serious. pretty much. All the producers I be, you see me, I put, I put on Facebook, yeah. producers, hit me up if you got... Um, beats with no samples. Yeah. As long as you got beats with no samples, I'm gonna try to work with you. And and she pays her producers. Yeah, she does. I, Another I thing, y'all niggas need to start doing. She pays her producers. And, and also come correct. Make sure you got your publishing together. <coughs> Make yeah. sure you're a big boy about it. Because because I'm gonna split fifty fifty if your paperwork right. Yeah. <coughs> All the time. And that's what I'm saying. ASCAP, BMI, whatever the case, like that shit is what fifty dollars yep. for a lifetime. Like it's and you free in right here. now. Even better. It's free right so, now. So, like, I think Ask when I got it, I think I paid, like, 50. And mm-hmm. this was, like, 2,000, mm-hmm. whatever the hit. Like, and it's still there. And, and BMI is forever. Yep. BMI is 100. And ASCAP, they're doing a special right now. You you get your writers and your pub for free. So, if you're an artist, go to ASCAP.com, sign up right now. Yeah. And start registering your songs. And so. for y'all who don't know how to network properly ASCAP sends you briefs and let you know when the ASCAP awards and shit yes, gonna be do. and you can pull up and meet other artists like mm-hmm. man they tell you about the the Grammys um, yeah. they tell you how you can get involved um, so that you can become a nominee one day yeah. you know what I'm saying you can become a part of the academy you know what I'm saying there's so many things and you just gotta actually do your research Google is such a big key cause yeah. when I first got 
And like, everybody got one of these. Exactly. I be seeing homeless niggas that's asking for money at the light on their phone. So every like, it's no excuse. It's none. <laughs> and that shit, anything that you could ever want to know in the world, right there. You just literally type that shit in. And it, like that was such a big help in the beginning because, I like the first two years, I didn't know where it was gonna go. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to try to maximize my potential. So. I just started looking up labels I could submit to, like code that, like code submit, because mm -hmm. all these labels you can't, you can't just send them stuff. They don't care. They'll send it back to you. Yeah. But I started redoing mad research, trying to figure out other pub companies I could work with, and um, started figuring out how I can start collecting my fees besides like um, that regular publishing, mechanical mm -hmm. license fees, mm -hmm. all those fees. Like I'm trying to figure out all this, like and and get the information and the knowledge so. At the end of the day, I'm not just making music. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know what I mean? It's, I mean, we we do the music because we love it. But like that old song say, love don't pay the bills. No. Nah. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah. And it's, it's, it's too much money out here. This The sync and licensing world is like a $4 billion industry, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? So why aren't you trying to get some? It's out there. And, and that's the thing, though, because a lot of these companies, they want to give you money. Like, they got budgets that's just sitting there, and yep. they have to give that shit to somebody. Have to. Like, yo, some of these briefs, I read a brief for a doc, a sports documentary. They wanted orchestral hip hop. It was $180,000. $180,000. And a lot of these people getting these placements are mm -hmm. overseas. Yeah. They're not even from here. Yeah, a lot of them are overseas. It's not even. Our our people, white boys from here, nobody from here. <laughs> this yeah. le legit Europeans getting this like a straight bag. Yeah, yeah. Like, and so uh, that's why I say it's a lack of the authenticity in the world, yeah. in in the sync world. So I'm like, yo, try and to they get don't it. know how to get their hands on real people. Yeah, like they, they want the sound, but they don't know how to approach somebody. Said person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right, right, so. right. I mean, it's two different worlds, you know what I'm saying? So See a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Once they actually figure out that you're articulate, you know how to speak to somebody on the call, they're like, oh, well, she can do both. <laughs> yeah. right. Oh, uh, I'm like, yeah, she can code switch. She got it. We're here. We're right. here. Just don't tell me I'm so well-spoken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like, the, yeah, don't be like, you're so you're so well-spoken. Because oh then I might start asking you if you ask white, if you tell white people that same shit. No. <laughs> like, no, no. You know could you smile a little bit more? Mm, I've been told that. Yeah. Can I smile what, to more? smile more? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just like, you're that. just so soft when you smile. It's just, no, you know, he, you're so much more pretty when you smile. <laughs> I, it was what, one of those. Now that's, it was, you're you're so pretty. You should smile more. You should yeah. smile more. I was like, that's a compliment, but is, is it? it? It's a backhanded compliment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. Look at you being all happy. I like that one. Look at you being all happy. <laughs> Like, like damn, I got fucker. I got the capacity to express basic human emotion like you I do, didn't motherfucker. Know. Right, like, right. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Right. <laughs> so speaking of overseas, Ethiopia. Yeah, I I do my I, I I research a little bit. What about Ethiopia? So how much of your roots um plays into your creativity and your sound and <laughs> did you do a ancestry.com <laughs> on me and hey, the guy? I didn't even know I got some Ethiopian in me, so <laughs> not for real. You're gonna have to tell me some more about this. Nah, so it's um I'm laughing. Uh it was a Is joke. So if you <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> No, so the, the the funny thing about that though, um so if you Google you, one of these write ups says that you're from Ethiopia. <laughs> you was wow. I, I'm I'm gonna find it. I should have took a screenshot. That's amazing. <laughs> I was born in Detroit. <laughs> yeah, right there. Ethiopian, Ethiopian born. born. Minneapolis, Minneapolis based <laughs> rapper. Oh, wow. I can't wait to look that up later. That's amazing. Girl. I don't know, man. Girl. Girl, you made so, it. Oh. So they say you don't make it unless they start telling like they Amen. start making up Straight shit up. about you. You're so. from Ethiopia. I'm gonna take that and run with it. Look at you. I'm She's just glad my, my mug shot don't come up no more. That's all I'm happy yeah. about. <laughs> but no, so I put that in the notes because I didn't know if you like seen that and nah. knew it. Like <laughs> No. I was like, damn. How? I was like, what is my percentage? Tell no, me. When I was saying it, like you was like real intrigued. I'm like, oh, so she this the is twenty three and me? <laughs> Yo, that's a false. You gonna bring too. my dad out? <laughs> <laughs> 
Nah, you see how I tried to get shit? So how much of your Ethiopian? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was, was like, <laughs> <"Man>, shit. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> But nah, so I yo I I never knew that you didn't see that. I thought you I thought you no, I never seen that. I would have tried to get that. Out. Like I I had to I tried to claim my entity on Google, mm-hmm. which that's it probably worked, why. But I tried to delete Girl, any, anything that I. I mean, most of the yeah stuff yeah. That I can, it's that season too. You might want to check that. Yeah, Talk I got you, Ethiopia. I know they gonna oh scam. Scamming that shit. Scamming that shit. Hey man, it's the bone structure. Yeah. It is. It, it is. <laughs> Bone it's believable. I yeah, believe it. It's believable. Cheekbones. If you didn't know who your father was, I would have been like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm glad I'm I know dead. who he is. I mean, just truly. No, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the things that are on the internet. <laughs> yo, debunked. Yo, this is bland. I'm, this is hilarious. <laughs> yo, I was like, what? Hey man, that might be you know Africa. They they play them fucking instruments over there. Hey that man. might be hey. might be some shit going on. You I wouldn't even just, said we need to go to Africa. I wouldn't even be it. surprised. Now maybe we need to hit Ethiopia. I wouldn't first. be surprised. I gotta I gotta I guess I got gotta do an ancestry. You know when that joke first came out, all yeah. the black people was like, I ain't doing that shit. You know they what? gonna try somebody, to clone us. You know what? Somebody probably just claimed you when they did theirs. They were like, and she's a part of our. Family. I mean, <laughs> not to get too fake woke and deep and shit, but like when you born, they literally keep your DNA at, in the hospital. Like you, your your parents got to sign for that shit if if they want to take it home. So it's not like they don't have. That's true. Everybody's fucking your fingerprints are in the system. Your like you have a yeah. social security <laughs> number. Like nigga, you exist. Like they don't. They know you. They, they know who your you are. Your social is a tax ID <laughs> number, but we ain't gonna go yeah. there. Yeah, driver's yeah. license. I mean, card. yo. So if you look at any of that shit, your social security card, your birth certificate. If you look at it and you see a bond, like a bank bond, yeah, it's, it's the same. It's, a, it's uh-huh. the same shit. It's yeah, your name is an all count. Yeah. yeah, your entire name's a business. Mm-hmm. Like, it's all caps. All caps. Actually, yeah, really cute how they do so. That. Yeah, it's all good. Not if to get too deep. America gonna make money. Y'all done became Doctor Uma, <laughs> <laughs> the Black Power Base. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I had so much to say. About <laughs> Just let it go. But no, I mean, but it's the truth though. Like it's like they. Anything that you can think that America's doing, they already did that shit ten times over. Like yeah. yeah. 23, like, they they don't need 23 and me to do whatever the fuck they want to do to you. <laughs> That's true. It's done. I got a COVID shot, y'all. Damn. Yeah, I still ain't. I, ain't, I, I ain't didn't do it. Not this year. I did it the first year. I'm still waiting to see the side effects. Like You think you're going to, like, zombify or something? Maybe I'll get wings. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Like, nah, if, if everybody who got the sh- shot start turning to X-Men, I'm going to be mad as a bitch. Uh, yeah, like, like, I want a power, too. I'm trying to level <laughs> up. Like, I... It has to be more than like just dying. But I don't want no bullshit does. power though. Like What's I want to be like what, I gotta be what, like. What counts as a bullshit power though? Jubilee. <laughs> like I don't want to just be at the fucking fireworks. Like what the fuck? Like <laughs> niggas is only like I can't even help fight. Like niggas is only inviting me to the vibe. Fourth of July, <laughs> New <laughs> Year's, like that's it. Like that's the You're only doing time kid I can. This shit. You like, can come over for Christmas too. You know what I'm saying? You like can do celebrity Christmases. <laughs> Like it would be posh. Yeah, like that is way. Thanos come in town. Niggas gotta hire me because I ain't like. But see, then you also I'm don't cool. want one that's too big where you can't be in your mama's house. You know what I'm saying? Like you still want like be the Hulk or some be, shit. Yeah, like, you still want to be able to come around. Now, yeah, see, I don't want no crazy power because then, like, when shit get thick, like I really gotta go help. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and you just chilling at the crib. Yeah, they like, like where is? Yeah, fucking do, Superman. Do, 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 like I know them niggas be mad as a bitch. Like sometimes you can't even run away. You can't just hide. like from the problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I mean, imagine shit. imagine some shit going down and Superman like, nah, I'm cool. Like I don't feel like <laughs> I'm fight. Good. I don't feel like fighting this nigga today. Now they hate you. <laughs> the world hates you. <laughs> the world. So many innocent lives. Yeah. Shit. Can't have a bad day when you're Superman. <laughs> shit. But yeah. Um, but no. So all right, let's get back to it. So. <laughs> um. So we were talking early, like, like you saying, like you all over the place and shit like that. So like, what is your true pocket? Because you can go hype, party, you got the laid back shit, you got the rock shit, 
Um, I think I seen heard you playing bongos on one of the motherfuckers. <laughs> like it's just, like you do you do some of everything. <laughs> <laughs> so like, I mean, I just try to find me in everything. Yeah. So I think that's why I like to do everything. But like, I mean, my root. I mean, I'm. I was born in Detroit and I'm mm-hmm. raised in Virginia. So the lyricism is going to come, and then that whole like feel good. Yeah, you know I mean Pharrell and Missy type of vibe. Like mm-hmm. that, I'm always going to like lean into that because mm-hmm. I want to make either motivational music or feel good music. I want yeah. something to come from come from it than just like negative feelings. And stuff. Yeah. So I'm trying to like you know go into that lane more. But besides that, like I'm all I'm all over the place. I'm doing everything. I'm a rap on anything, <laughs> everything. Irish folk. Yeah, so that would be. Fun. But that's how you shop on your tools, though. <laughs> huh? That's how you shop on your tools. Absolutely. Like, because you don't know what you sound good on until you try the shit. Right, and so, then okay. to the point where, like, when we did the um, punk rock song with Floppy Disk, mm-hmm. um, I did all my vocals, and so I I did them shouting, like I rapped it, like screaming, yeah. like. And then it was like, no, nah, can you just be you? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, cool. I like the shout yeah, version. Yeah, you know? yeah, I, I do like the, fun. the shout version was but fun, it was but a lot. Yeah. it was a lot. It was a lot. But yeah. they was it like, was just lot. be you, and it turned. It was such a good um, juxtaposition of mm-hmm. my vocal and then him actually the the other floppy disk actually screaming on the, yeah. the the hook. You know what I'm saying? So it it played out really well. So I just find you find yourself in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's it. So you don't feel like you just got a pocket. You feel like you can get in multiple pockets. Yeah, I'm a yeah. Jane of you all know, trades. Some some artists like they can make different styles of music, but they got that pocket that is like I mean regardless of how many different joints like I do. If how you, many different if you was like stay in one lane forever, I would always go back to like the Wu Tang era of rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's how I started. Mm-hmm. Like and it would be Difficult um, lyricism, mm-hmm. dif- difficult cadences and pockets and weird words. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, cause, like how Ghostface said, it's Fever art. Bleeders. So you can just say whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter what the listener thinks. You yeah. can literally just put it there because that's your art. Yeah. So I think I would, if I had to do a choose one lane, that would be it because it's comfortable, it's natural. Yeah, you know, what I mean? and then it still blends other genres. You got classical and the samples because they sample everything. Yeah. You know, the boom bap, so it samples yeah. everything. So, so I'd probably still go back there. Yeah, and that was, I mean, that was a good time too. Oh, for sure. That was a time when everybody kind of wanted to sound like themselves, and not that, more that, so exactly. like exactly. In in that era of rap, everybody sounded like yeah. themselves. Themselves. That's because back, like, they would consider you a, a biter. Yeah, like if you sounded like somebody else, that's very like true. even if you was in a group with a nigga, like if you sounded <laughs> like yeah. the person you was in the group with, like, be like that nah. shit only worked for Onyx because <laughs> on the sound you ain't know who was who. That's true, but it worked for them though. <laughs> but, but like outside of that, like anybody who sounds like anybody else is like, nah, you biting like. Yeah, even the Fuji sound different. All yeah, of them. you know what I'm yeah, saying. Right. So you absolutely right. I think it was much more original then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For everything. They like, championed it like yeah. oh shit, that's different. Mhm. Mhm. So and so speaking of which, so like when you create now because it's so easy to like if you listen to the radio, everything sounds exactly the same. I think the crazy shit is R&B probably has more versatility on the radio mainstream than rap do right now. Yeah, I don't think um, I even listen to if, if it's not old school, like older rap, yeah, not old school rap, because like I'm still listening to Kendrick and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But like, unless I'm listening to old, like a couple years ago rap, I'm not listening to anything that's like yeah. now. I don't really know. A yeah, lot for real. Like, and it's kind of sad. No, I've been listening to Jungle. Yeah, <laughs> it's a UK band. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Jungle, Nas brother Jungle. Nah, I've been listening to a UK <laughs> band. Called Jungle, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't even been listening to. I was like, yo, she taking this '90 hip hop shit serious. Nah, she listening no. to just all Jungle, just <laughs> nah, they... <laughs> like nah, that especially not. <laughs> we literally Jungle James Blake. Mm-hmm. Listen to a lot. Right. It's not a lot of other rap going on in the house unless it's specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's good though, and. That's a good thing, especially when you create every day, because you don't want to start 
getting inspired by the sound that's current because that's pretty much what it sounds like every artist that's on the radio mainstream wise does i mean so. I, I i have had like pub companies ask me all right can you sound like coila ray yeah you know what i mean like they they would ask for particulars <clears throat> but i think the females are kind of killing it right now as far as for the sure. hip-hop world for sure it's mm-hmm. a lot more versatility and a lot more um Females just taking a chance. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, I was actually going to ask about that. So let's get into that. Yeah. Um, no, but no, they they definitely are. And even like the ones that you don't like, like ratchet shit been around since we've been fucking. Oh, yeah. So like. And it's necessary shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like, necessary. of course, when I first heard Sexy Red, I was thrown off a little bit. But then next thing you know, you 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 saying ski, but like fuck, and it's a mood. Yeah. Nah, like, she so vibe. I get it. So I get it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I totally get it. But then you have artists like Tierra Whack, mm-hmm. yeah. um, it, super dope lyricist for, for sure. And um, and she's about to come back out. She took a little break, but I was like really into what she was putting out there. And then you got like Dochi, Dochi, yeah. um, Lola Brooks. Yes. Um, so it's some. Some, yeah. some females out here really, really going hard and yeah. doing other shit. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? And they kind of, they kind of run the radio, mainstream, and and they kind of run in like that. They not quite underground, but that little middle ground between mainstream and underground. Strip club. They, they running, strip club. they running strip that club. too. And like, if you got yeah. that, if you got the circuit, if yeah. you got that circuit popping, oh yeah, your career is made. Yeah. If you could get on a Instagram live <laughs> or a TikTok live mm-hmm. and keep your shit on. Oh, I, yeah. I feel like that's that part you was talking about. That yeah. middle, but it's that's still the, tangible, but they right. still live in a certain type of lifestyle. But yeah. we're funding it. Right? Yeah, like they mm-hmm. they still blown. in touch with the people. Mm-hmm. Mind blown. They selling pussy on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And they just ski like get the fuck off. Like, yeah. I, I love it. I love it. And it's a vibe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you see that shit a lot though. Like, I mean, it's a vulgarity been in music since fucking right. forever. But like. It, like when women do it, that's the only time when it's. I mean, it's, really it's a, a lot of over sexuality. Don't get it yeah. twisted. It, like, like, come on. I, I know every single song. You don't have to mention your pussy. Yeah, you know but I'm that's because saying? that's what's working, quote right. unquote. Know what I'm saying. Um, so that's what a lot of them feel. Right. So it's it's kind of like it's kind of like every young nigga doing drill music right now. It's like that's what they every that's the sound songs, everybody's though. chasing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because like with the City Girls album. JT got this one song. I cannot remember the name of the song, but it doesn't matter. She is spitting. She going to fuck It's just her on it, too. And it's just her. Mm -hmm. Didn't need nobody else on Mm -hmm. it. It's just her. That song could be on the radio with the likenesses of everybody else. But it won't be. But it never will be. And then they want to sit here and talk about sales and all this. Y'all are promoting the same pussy popping, booty shaking shit. That everybody else is doing. Right. And all these other girls got the same another song that they could be playing on the radio, too. It's just about what and, they and choose to put it out. A little tired of the remixes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, let, let, all let of the, the remixes. Go. Like, yo, I get it. But Diddy killed that whole era of remixes. Yeah. You feel me? But they're remixing songs that were remixed. That's what I'm saying. We got to stop it somewhere. And I thought in a remix, you still have somebody that was a part of the song in the song and or changed one thing. Right. I mean, some people are doing it right. But it's some people like it's like that's it's, oversaturated too. Yeah, it's and some of them just flipping old beats and just that's exactly what they, they know. Doing. Like back right. that ass up, like they flipping old beats. And, and you know, gonna sing a Tevin Campbell verse on, on top of back that ass up. Like it's really yeah. I mean, it's I've seen it's a, a cheat code that. for real. Like, but in the same sense though, how long is that gonna last? It's not, because I mean, think of how many different waves of music we went through since. I probably just say 2010. Mm-hmm. So the last thirteen years or so, like we done went through the snap era. That shit fast forwarded to the fucking the dance era, and then, like True. it it keeps evolving. And now it's kind of like this rap rock shit, like oozing, like like the shit that they own. But it's yeah, and then it, it's either that or it's drill. Yeah. As far as mainstream, yeah, it's drill. Yeah, it, 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 like that's the only two that you're hearing. You which, hearing which people don't they don't don't tell these rappers though. It's just house music that sound hard. Oh yeah, uh huh. It's the same. I yeah. need them yeah. to know that it's dance yeah. music, nigga. 
But they do dance. <laughs> they be dancing in the videos. But they do dance. I mean, they dance with, with AKs and shit, but I mean, they, it's, they, it's they be, dance. Dance. They be dancing in the video. <laughs> Damn, right. I wish like, it was more fun for them. Yeah, like... Cause, so that, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, dance music. Yeah. Bobby Schmurda, he he has a lot of fun. Like, it's but he weird. still have a, a get with it. Exactly, you can yeah. still have fun. Like, dancing. And that's the shit, though, because, like... So if you think of like the the origin of like every different kind of music, whether it's New Orleans bounce, Baltimore club music, house music, go go, it all started in the trenches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because motherfuckers, you know, it, and it meant something. It, 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 that was just it. Like right. house music, like all right, nigga, we can't afford no DJ. We gonna cut this shit, shit up, up a certain right, way, exactly. speed it up. We don't need no DJ. We just gonna let this shit run. Right. right. And then boom, house music, and then you got the club music, Baltimore. They, you just taking the fucking. Dora theme song and flipping that shit to <laughs> facts. But that shit and niggas is listening to that all night. Yeah. So like each each like region has its own origin of music. Right. And it's all kind of like organic. Right. You know what I'm saying? To to that area and it's all like its own thing. But so where do you see where do you I might ask you a question. Okay. So where do you see hip hop evolving from drill. where we're at right now with with the drill and the likes of that? Um so I'm starting to see a wave coming. Um, a lot of different artists and people who are not even just people in the music industry. So people are starting to gravitate back toward lyricism a little bit. Okay. Um, especially with like J. Cole smoking everybody on their mm, shit right now. Yeah. Like that's the talk of it. Like and people are starting to actually want to hear lyrics. Of course the party shit ain't going nowhere because niggas partying ain't never going nowhere, but um I think lyricism gonna come back. I think actual make structuring songs is gonna come back. Mm. So you know, I think it's gonna we're gonna go get back to the point where music sounded like when we had artist development. Right. So you tired of TikTok rappers? So the crazy thing is, I don't. <laughs> hey, nah, don't explain yourself. It's a yes or no question. No, I was gonna say I don't really get on TikTok like that. Oh. So like I know I know kind of what the TikTok music is It's just shit that motherfuckers drop so people can make dance challenges and shit too. But I don't really subscribe to that because like most of the music I hear is from my title, right? It's not from nothing else, like, like from other media. apps. Yeah, right, right, right. So even like the new artists that I stumble upon, like it's from title, right? Or like I might see, you know, but I don't I don't know who got the newest dance song out. Me neither. Yeah. So I, don't, I ain't no dancing nigga anyway. Like. <laughs> I ain't gonna be out there fucking doing this. <laughs> nah, man. Well, mm, this I don't know. And then now the dance is not the same to me either. It's like I feel like we could dance back then, like the boys could. So dance. you think that um, when don't, when do when you not. were cranking the soldier boy, when I crank was, that, yeah, when you crank that, you in unison with you my brethren, that, did, did, yes, <laughs> we're in unison with my yeah. brethren. Fuck. It's better than what they're doing now. The dancing that they're doing, it's now. the same shit. In no, that shit I'm not saying anybody's shit. dances are better because these little kids can fucking dance. Okay, <laughs> the shit that I see now is beyond us. Right, all right, but still, what we did together as a unit, as it a felt unit, good. yes, the white kids couldn't get it for. They'll a never experience it. Was just our in a crowd. Like, yeah. Man. I don't know if they need to though. Cause <laughs> yeah. When that shit used to that come was on in the black party, mosh pit. yeah, that's why and I like rock. Usually, music. that's when the lights come on when they play that shit. Because <laughs> some nigga that went too far, <laughs> lights come on, you see somebody laying down, it's over. <laughs> it was a great time. Good old neck if you buck. But yeah, once you seen a nigga nuck. jumping around doing this, somebody about to go yeah. to sleep. <laughs> But we did in unison. Somebody yeah. had to go Every, to sleep. But what's so crazy is we always doing that. Yeah. Exactly. The girls. The girls. The boys. It was great. You looking around the crowd the and then you see the wrong nigga doing it. You like, oh, he about it's to knock to somebody go. the fuck out. Damn right. Because <laughs> this nigga ain't danced all yeah, night. He like, really I know but why did they keep he came playing that song for us? Because you can't not play. <laughs> when you really think about yeah. all the parties we've ever been to all your life growing up, that song was at every single one of them. It really yeah. was. And they, was, to you. and they was like 16. Wasn't yeah, Diamond like 16 when, that shit, when yeah. she did that shit? They were still in high she school. She was still in high school. Yeah. Yeah. I they think were I was still in, in middle school. school when that shit came out. Yeah, because I was in middle school. Damn. Yeah. So They shouldn't have played it. Damn. Or Who Let the Dogs Out, but that's just my personal <laughs> opinion. That was a great song, too. That song was Dance terrible. music. <laughs> Says started in the nah, trenches. So, like... It's certain songs 
<laughs> it's certain songs that like I I put all in the same group. They don't sound the same, but who let the dogs out? Like Mambo Number no. Five, <laughs> yes. fucking Macarena, Macarena, Shaggy. It wasn't me. Like. They oh, all kind of go in that it same, is. like, they would be on the same playlist. Facts. One CD. Facts. Now music. Yeah, that was. Now music. Mm -hmm. Number five. Yeah. Like, that's that shit. Yeah. Like, they all on that together. That, that was a bad together. time. Sixth grade dances. <laughs> a lot of bright colors and silk. Now, nah, school dances, I had to stop going. Because they all, they separating yeah. you and shit. Like, nah. <laughs> Hell no. I don't know. Wanted no grinding. <laughs> Well, I think the grinding, you could grind in high school. They didn't oh, yeah, high school, they didn't give a shit. fuck. They didn't yeah. give a shit. Niggas were smoking in the back from there. <laughs> <laughs> at, the, at the dances. But then, like, high school for real, unless it was, like, one of, one of the dances, like, you ain't going. No. You want a Jay party. Jay throwing a party Friday. <laughs> like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yo, y'all thought I was throwing a party. <laughs> My mom was throwing a party for me to make sure I had friends. Aww. She did a good <laughs> that shit job. worked. She did. That shit worked. <laughs> she did a good job. She did a good job. Got mad friends. I know. <laughs> Them shits used to be like that. See? For no reason. Everybody that ever has ever been to one says it like that. Man, man Jay. Yeah. I know, man. Because it was, man. but see, I like I got to grow through the years, so I, I got to go from the house parties to the backyard kickback chill oh, man, parties. No, yeah. said, like so, now I'm saying it's evolution. That's it. If we're not evolving, what you say? What the fuck we doing? What right. the fuck are we doing this for? <laughs> but yeah, um, so one thing about you that everybody who knows you knows your heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a big heart with the people that you, like, really fuck with. Oh, yeah. I'm and, so um, for real for them. Like, you've always <laughs> been, like, the helpful person. Like, once you embrace somebody, it's like, yo. Yeah, I, like, I, I... If you need it and I can somewhere. do it and it make... I got you. Yeah, I like, try to. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you even recognizing yeah. that. Yeah, so... But I, as you treat people how you want to be treated. And I, I came from nothing, so... Yeah. And I've had people be like, oh, you know, give me... Just advice or just a kind word and it change everything. Yeah. So I just try to do the same thing. Yeah. So it's kind of like, was it pay it forward? Yeah. And yeah. it and it pays off. It's no. for real because you're going to have somebody does. do the same thing for you. You know what I'm saying? Like I ended up getting a mentor um, with publishing in the same way mm -hmm. because he was just nice. He yeah. was like... He was like, oh, you, he, he he hadn't met a female rapper that could rap like me, but he had been in it. He actually did the... um. His name's Easy McCoy. He did the uh the title of uh, the um intro for Bel Air. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So he I met him when um I got signed with position and he just took me under his wing for real. Like just gave me the ropes. I started featuring on a couple of songs and getting signed to other pub um companies just for mm -hmm. the feature. Yeah. And then he was like, All right, float. And so, you know what I'm saying? I it was basically the same thing. And so I try to keep an open heart. The same way yeah. I always been because stuff like that happens to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because it's like now we live in a time where motherfuckers don't really want to help unless it's beneficial. Yeah. Like unless like they benefit from helping you more than you benefit from them helping you. Right. Like some people will only help you if they get to get more off help. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know what absolutely. I'm saying? Like that's yeah. the times that like it's kind of like time shifted to that. So it's like when you... Still helping person people motiveless without um well that is without motive. But when you still helping people without motive and you doing that shit genuinely, like it comes back to you. Oh yeah. Tenf, but, tenf but, but the people people think it's a game or something. Yeah. When you don't want nothing from them. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like they they skeptical. Yeah. yeah like, like ten years later, you still never asked them for nothing. They like, nah, so when you helped me ten years ago, like, right. Right. Like, come on now. You still what what you Right. Like, when yeah, it's too okay. good like, to be true. It's a yeah. lot of that. Like, that's, yeah. They're like, well, what's the catch? I'm like, it's no catch. Yeah. It's a catch. It, Some shit is too good to be true, though. But I, but when a person is genuinely just doing this shit and, yeah. and like, mm -hmm. they're consistent in that, like, at some point you got to stop questioning I it. I think my only catch would be I, I genuinely want everybody to win. Yeah. So if I win with you and we can keep winning together... Why yeah. fuck up that formula? You know Damn what I'm right. saying? So like, I think that's a lot of people's problem though. Like when shit works, they still try to find a way to make it better. Mm -hmm. Like if the shit is if this if this shit is working mm -hmm. the way it's supposed to now, why the fuck are we trying to make it better? 
Like, why not just leave it where it is? And if it stops really? working, then we try to figure out a way to I mean, flip I, it in. That's true. Yeah, I mean, Auntie Mama ain't changed the, uh, Not the damn ingredient. Thing. Pearl Just the label. Pearl yeah. <laughs> so, but, you know, sometimes sometimes you just stay the course and it's, it's better off. I agree. That's I it. agree. Look at you. I, I'm trying. Same thing. <laughs> Same. Look at you. Big one, man. Right, right. Yeah. And consistent. You know what I mean? You've been consistent the whole time I've been seeing you do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I definitely, like, Try to stay genuine. Well, well, I'm not. I don't try. I, I'm, I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? So like toward everybody, even like people I don't fuck with. Like people don't even know like who I do and don't fuck with. Cause like what for what? Yeah, that shit don't matter. They know. <laughs> they know I don't fuck with them. That's all that matters. Right, right, like right. The, if I don't fuck with them, they know that I don't fuck right, with right, them. Right, right. The, the world, world don't need to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, cause I'm not that fuck. I'm bragging and boasting about who I do and don't fuck with and. Like well, everybody put shit. everything on social media yeah. nowadays. But I so rather I rather take that to praise the people I do fuck with. Facts. Because why? Do, if I don't fuck with somebody, why am I giving them more love? Because that's you. Really? You're keeping their name out there. So yeah, it's, it's a billboard. It's, I was about to say it's really all about energy. So if you put in that energy out there, that's what you're gonna receive. Yeah. So if you put negative energy out about people you don't fuck yeah. with and this that and, and that's the third, only time you get engaged. Right. With, that's yeah. That's the only that. time yeah. you. Yeah. You know I mean, you some people it. chase that high. Mm. It's a weird ass high, but some people chase that Man, shit. Attention is worse than. I don't think I will than... understand. No, yeah. well, we're seeing it right now in in various ways. Oh, yeah. in the media. Attention is worse than fentanyl right now. Mm. Like, shit, I don't know. They hand in hand, they, yeah. <laughs> they <laughs> neck and neck. <laughs> <laughs> they sure. Fucking neck and neck. <laughs> and that's another thing too. Um, so, like, when you build genuine relationships with people, sometimes it just it just flows. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it really just flows. Like every time you see them, whether y'all do a collab with music or sometimes they might come across an opportunity that they like, man, this shit ain't going to work for me, but you I send it to this person. Right. So like when you when you build in a genuine relationship, like who do you decide to let in? Because you can't let everybody in. No, you in. can't. So like. um, Well, to, to be honest with you, I've gotten so good with reading people now. Mm-hmm. Like. Like, off the first conversation, I could tell if you a fuckboy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, I've gotten so well at just taking hints and clues on if you fucking around or not. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, I know who I could be like, I right, look, I really want to do this for you. Or I could be like, all right, well, we'll see. We'll see how it yeah. works out, how it plays out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I know at this point, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you still get into situations like for instance, I got burned by a pub company for a placement, mm-hmm. and but I didn't know. Um, I knew my contract, of course. Yeah. <clears throat> but I didn't know when uh, a label doesn't do their payouts, mm-hmm. and I have to do the audits and yeah. do other things like this and this, that, and the third. So, you know, you learn. As you go with certain things, like some people may just seem legit off front. They might got all their paperwork and then they yeah. backstabbing you. You never really know. But I say trust your gut because yeah. like, just like when you're in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like where you, you can be like, yo, that nigga's scared. Your instincts is your instincts. That's right. the best way right. to say that it, it's gone about. Yeah. yeah. I treat it still like the streets. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. Because there's been instances where people have used their name to get into a room. Yeah. yeah. they like, oh, yeah, I got this song with Jay Josephine. Or I wanted I'm, to pitch it to you. And I'm like, there's no way you could and ever. And then, then the producer's hitting me and like, hey, this publisher, I mentioned your name and they wanted a song with you. And mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. There's always checks and balances. Well, with what? Names. How did my name even come up in this? Okay, yeah. well, I guess I'll do the song. Next thing you know, I'm like, <laughs> I'm doing a fucking song that I didn't. It's because yeah. somebody was saying my name or putting yeah. stuff in place. So, you know what I mean? Like, mm. it's just, you 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 still going to live, you still going to learn. But I go about it like the streets with yeah. anything. I go with my instinct, and I'm like, I but put you ain't out. slapping niggas, though. You ain't, you ain't that. Nah. <laughs> nah, nah, I ain't not anymore. And when I was in L.A., like, you can't talk to, you can't talk to people on the West Coast how you were doing on the East Coast. Yeah. And I had to. They learn. lingo's definitely different. And- nah, not even that. Like my tonality is too much. Oh well, yeah, cause they kind of they they real laid back out it's there and soft. like yeah, it's kind of soft. Like, <laughs> they they real laid little, back, a little too laid back sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> like let's get to the facts. Yeah, real fast. Like a nigga telling you some shit going on and they just talking like this. Like yeah, cause like 
I don't understand why you're so. <laughs> I was like, like, why you so calm, nigga? This is all this shit is happening, like right sh- now in front of our face. Like, come on, wake up. I told I told my aunt, I told one of my ARs, you need to do your job. I thought I was gonna get blackballed from the industry. Yeah. And all I said was, please do your job. If you make money, I make that money. Was no and I joke. thought, and I swear to you, I thought I was gonna get blackballed. That yeah. shit was real serious, for real. So sorry. <laughs> From the East Coast, I didn't know that was me. Yeah, type so, of shit. But you know, I you you gotta kind of like you know see what your uh, surroundings are. Like I'm going to um Portland. I I don't know how they're gonna take my tone. You know yeah. what I mean? Because they just used to. I'm going to a writers camp, so they just used to hearing all of this dope, motivational, inspirational, yeah, hip hop, and then yeah. they're gonna meet this. So <laughs> you know what I mean? Like so, I just sit back and try to read the room and see how much of me I can be right then and there for yeah. people because I can be a little, a little bit much. Yeah. Are you going to smile? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but, I mean, you adapt well, though. Yeah, I try so, to. So, like, you yeah. can, like, it's it's only certain people have that ability to where you can go in six different rooms with six different kinds of people and blend and not change who you are in either of them rooms. Mm-hmm. I feel like when you, grew, when you grew up in Virginia Beach, though, you kind of got to be like that. Yeah. Because, you know, you you can go into the lunchroom and it's black people, white people, Filipinos. Yeah. You know That's what I'm saying? Right. Latinos. And so. And um, everybody sometimes be kicking it at the same table and some more shit. At the same table, same table and everything. You wouldn't <laughs> even expect it. Like one of my one of my best homegirls uh, was like this golf girl, real nerdy. Yeah. She didn't talk to anybody. And she was so dope yeah. in high school. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> But like Virginia, is Virginia Beach is probably yeah. like that. It's kind of eclectic. So you just... Yes. Learn how to become a chameleon. Yeah, because I mean, we're military. Yeah. It's, it's a military mm-hmm. state, so yeah. like mm-hmm. motherfuckers is literally coming from everywhere, like right, every and anywhere. So I mean, truly, you okay. bound to run across my like different kinds of motherfuckers, regardless of what. And I worked in the mall, so oh, I, yeah. I had to. Yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> so you seeing everybody, and that's crazy though, because like malls is like dying and shit. They yeah. did really wild. They dying and shit, unless it's a shoe release. <laughs> like, and then all of a sudden you remember, oh, there is a foot yeah. there. Right. Shoe release and I th- and Apple stores. Mm-hmm. And I think they putting a chokehold on the Apple stores because it's like say, y'all niggas is not about to get your own brick and mortar somewhere. Like, and they could easily. But but, but, but just think about it. That easily, means if that if that's the case, that means it's a commodity to have Apple into your mall, so you yeah. would damn near pay them to be there. Yeah. So, right? Because any right. nigga who walked past the Apple store, like. It could be fucking two two in the afternoon on a Wednesday, like that bitch packed, yep. packed all the time. <laughs> like, They're teaching a class. There's yeah. people in line. There's kids like, in the, you like what the fuck? Yeah, kids yeah. in there on Zoom at school and shit. Cause like it's the middle of the day. You supposed to be in class. What right. the fuck is you doing in the after school? <laughs> Nine thirty a.m. You think you're gonna get your laptop looked at? You shut your ass up. You Hell go no, there. They no. like, oh, what's your name? Uh, put it on the kiosk. All right. Could you come back Tuesday? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn right. So. Nah, that shit real though. I mean, but I think at, at some point everything is kind of um, recycled back to where it is. Even with this AI shit and everything coming oh, in, the like AI shit. even yeah. with that coming in, I think it's still going to circle back. Um, uh, I got minus maybe us shit. going like because at, at some point, even with malls, and I'm gonna keep it short. Even with malls, like at some point, motherfuckers is gonna get tired of. Ordering shit offline and it not fitting and they can't try it on first. I say I that always shit, try all shit the on. Time. I want to feel the so, fabric. I'm a like some bitch. people gonna end yeah. up being like, "Yo, I'm," because uh, how much? I mean, I order plenty shit off like and whatever, then, and shit don't be, and I gotta send off. the shit back. Thank you. You and get the next size later. up, but now the shit too like so yeah. Especially when you're buying something for an event. Oh yeah, you need it now. And that shit, yeah, that come, shit next weekend. Right. They so you only got but certain amount of time. Right. But no, what you were saying? Not that AI shit is real. Yeah. I was definitely going to ask that. So that was the next question. So they offered um, a company offered me twelve thousand dollars for me to rap 30 songs. And what they were uh, what I thought I was going to do, I thought I was rapping these songs for a video game, like uh, yeah. doing covers, like yeah. push it, shit like that. Right. <laughs> they were trying to get your voice. Yes. And they, they wanted my voice and they only offered me twelve thousand dollars. They didn't give they didn't offer no royalties, nothing. Yeah. See, and that's the thing. So, man. That's the shit that's so dangerous with that, because a lot of um, a lot of bullshit is gonna get put out. 
Mm-hmm. Like I just heard fucking Michael Jackson singing a Drake song. I like, heard, like, 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 I heard Biggie singing fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like it's yeah. just it, like this shit is crazy. Yeah. That all they need is your. So they they had you do them thirty different songs so they can get they your, your dialogue. So like yeah. Well, I'm saying they, yeah. they, my fault. They tried yeah, to have they, you say it. They wanted to get the tones and yeah. um, inflections. Yeah. And in was, different ways. So it's so bad. It, it, I'm on a Zoom meeting while they're mm-hmm. explaining this to me, right? So my face goes from all excitement to yeah. What the fuck did you like? like you, I was like, y'all budget's not big enough like, to take my to voice, take my likeness. I was my like, voice. I was like, you gonna take my job? Yeah. Nah, you could. Like, I'm like, nah, cause now, they like, put it in there. Jay, the placement, like that's it. Mm-hmm. Now they can in the style of every placement hell. that the real you was gonna get, and they can have you saying whatever the fuck they exactly. want you to say. Exactly. It was for a yeah. prompt, so your kids could prompt me to rap for them. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. On some video game. Yeah. So it'd be a... like, hey, what's up? I'm Jay. Yeah. Right. Nah, fuck that. That's crazy. And mind you, it wouldn't even have had my name. It would have just been my voice. Yeah. I wouldn't have got no credit for so it. it I would have got nothing. nothing they could have renamed that shit to anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, seriously, they could have, like, <laughs> yeah. the, like, the voice of Siri, her name ain't Siri. Like, they, so once true. they get it, like. It could have been, I could have been anybody. My shit's South African. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah. Ethiopian, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut <laughs> <laughs> you do have a big family though I'm just a regular American nigga I don't <laughs> That's <laughs> like, crazy My family from the country Like I don't know nah. They from the woods and shit <laughs> My whole family from Detroit <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy Ethiopia They really wrote a nice write up though It was decent I'm cool Shout out to Shabuka Bunch she oh, was one man, of yeah. yeah, and I just wanted to yeah. say yo, that she was yo. a long time fan and friend and on friend Facebook. And, Every time and I do something, her. she supports me. She is that. I don't girl. even remember the last time I seen her in person. Okay, but she supports yeah. me. She, 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 she and thank you. That's Shout good out. though, because yeah. it's like to have people that want just want to see you win. Yeah, and y'all might not even talk like you said you ain't seen her in person. Like, like you like, can't replace that. No, you can't. You can't yo, replace that. real talk, like. I don't post like my placements to be like, oh, look at what I'm doing. It's like, yo, look at what I'm doing. You could do yeah. this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then certain people, they know where I come from. So they're genuinely happy to yeah. see me doing something because they know where I could have ended up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's a just actually showing people like, yo, I didn't end up there. Yeah. We, we good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like- my dream came true. Right. Like, I'm, I'm still I'm, chasing I'm living, it. I'm yeah. still, you know what I'm saying? So, but and now then, it's like true. you get to just elevate it because you kind of in it now. Right. And so. I'm, I, to be honest with you, I was talking to um, Poppy about doing like seminars or, mm-hmm. um, you know, some sp- like just try to y'all got me smoking people. blunts. So I hate blunts. Sorry. I'm a paper Sorry. nigga, but I'm I, I fuck with y'all. Sorry. So like I know we y'all said know it all I love nice. y'all. So <laughs> I don't give a fuck, nigga. Give it back. <laughs> don't hit it, nigga. What the fuck? You? Nah, like. I know people always be like, yo, you smoke backwards, you rap. I smoke mad backwards. So no, I gotta yeah, I rap, I don't sing, so nigga, I don't gotta... <laughs> right. If my shit get a little raspy, I'm, it is I'm good. It is. I'm good. <laughs> Sooner or later. I don't know. Snoop Dogg quit smoking. Today. I seen that. Yeah. Okay. So I seen that earlier. Him. So that's for him. That's for him. What's he, now, he said he quit smoke. So he might not beef with He's niggas no more. Or something. Like, he might be talking about beefing with niggas. I ain't beefing with niggas no more. I'm quitting beefing with oh, niggas. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he got a damn diffuser up in the house. Like, uh, right. Just pumping out smoke. Yeah. Yeah, now, right. it's something, though. But, I mean, to even to do that, like, that's what we know him for. Like, we know, like, five people for smoking. It's like Snoop, Bob Marley. That's true. <laughs> like, Snoop, Bob Willie Marley. Willie Nelson, Chi Chong. Chong. Yeah. <laughs> like, Where's Khalifa? You know, where's Khalifa? <laughs> two chains. Like, so we, like, it's a few people that That's we true. know for smoking, but Snoop is like... The godfather of... Well, that, let's get blown. That Snoop shit. is did his time. Yeah. Somebody else needed to take the torch from Snoop. Like, Wiz can do it. Wiz I think Wiz kind of has... I mean, because he's... Side by side with Snoop, so yeah. you talking about they the, went on tour the smoking torch or yeah, like just, like the, just like with the blaze with of the glory. weed, yeah, just yeah. like let it go. Meth and Snoop red. got shit to do. Well, Meth man don't smoke on camera Snoop like that. Snoop got mad and 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 shit, so. kids. He can't be getting high. This is my time. first time smoking on nah, camera. Why not? No, so man, look, 
If you go to any like senior living community, all them old people do is smoking. No, it. but I'm saying the kids running around, the babies, yeah. you know, and on his compound. But see, <laughs> now Snoop is at that point where he's not a role model; he's just an uncle. That's true. That's Uncle Snoop. He can do that's whatever true. he, he wants. Slap a bitch ass yeah, like, in the middle of the uncle street, Snoop and I'd be right like, now. "Shut up, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> A nigga, a nigga that kick it with Martha Stewart on a daily can't really do no wrong. <laughs> nah, like, like that's true. No, we got his cookbook too. Fat. Oh, cookbook y'all got is, it. Like at the crib. Okay. At, at I the got crib. both of volumes. He's coming cooks up with the third cooks. one. He y'all made some shit out of there. Out. She did. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I did for sure. For real, you got like a tater tot. Uh, you put it in. Uh, you get all the tater tots and you yeah. put it in a, the a panini waffle, press or a waffle, waffle maker. <laughs> that shit hits. Oh shit! With cheese. Yeah, so it's it's a bunch of high nigga recipes. Yeah, like, it's a, like it's yeah. one ingredient away from a swole each time. But like this shit slaps. But that shit go to I'm like, I'm gonna go get that shit though. Yeah, it's high. But his other cookbook is like a little more refined with Martha. Yeah. yeah. But, but the like, one we got is I got cooks like mac and cheese. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> like like but yeah, I mean we got two niggas that powder. like we got two people in the world that's just like the most recognizable figures, and that's like Snoop and Shaq. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's because Shaq, 8 foot 12, but I'm good. But, like, every time you turn around, one of them is doing something. In a a commercial, in a fucking... They know how to diversify their On shit that you like, why the fuck is this nigga in the rock... Shaq Shaq in a fucking rock video. Diversify your funds, yo. He got the damn Icy Hot commercials. Mm -hmm. Shaq is... You know, they don't talk about T-Pain enough. Yeah. T-Pain definitely don't get I don't understand all his money, but I know he has a lot of it. (laughs) Like I don't know where it really comes like that Twitch world. I'm not into that. Yeah, but that's what but I'm he saying. does that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's it's crazy that um well, you know, he said that he kind of felt like he he been blackballed and shit though, but which is crazy cuz like that. this era that's going around right he, now is like tailor made for like he his didn't have social sound media. Of music. Yeah. He didn't have social media. But that's media why he took over time. Twitch. Yeah. No, cuz like at the time he was out there was like really no social media for real, for real. Except for like media takeout, it was just In my terrible. Space. Yeah, it was like really <laughs> yeah. like clickbait, terrible. But like now, he would eat that shit up. That's true. I wish I could take him back in time. I'm bring his ass back. <laughs> if we had a time machine. <laughs> T Pain, fuck yeah, cash cow. Yeah, like Game if he dropped, over. I'm in love with a stripper right now. That should have do numbers on TikTok. It yeah. would. <laughs> like, the strippers would eat it up. What? That should have do numbers. Yeah. Yo, so it would be on P Valley again. And again and again and again. T Pain, he's he write the bops. He might win a CMT award for that shit. <laughs> since they get oh, him let's, out. Let's uh applaud all the black people in country now. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's for real. That's, that's for real. Know your roots. <laughs> and they winning awards. And they smoking that shit though. They like they are. killing it. And it ain't like the uh the mock country like Lil Nas X nah, and shit. Like they, they really real like doing that shit. Uh, was so, it uh K Michelle yeah. with uh K Michelle or with was Jelly Roll. No, it was K, K Michelle, Michelle with Jelly Roll. Yeah, um, Kane Brown, he's black, right? Mm-hmm. Kane Brown, yeah. So and like, then what's the other people's name? That uh, new group we just uh, seen them Fear, today. Uh, the war and the the war and the. The war and the something. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I ain't gonna get too crazy, but I mean, <laughs> they have lit. For people who don't know, country music is black music, but you know, we created the shit, started the shit, like we did rock music. I, I ain't know. trying to get too political. I but. mean, it's just the truth. Yeah. Dr. Umar back. <laughs> Tariq <laughs> Nasheed. <laughs> it's just facts. Black facts. <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, like, so it's even crazy to the point where, like, we created rock and roll, but they don't want us in rock and roll and rock and roll Hall of Fame and, like, Yo, when I black can't. artists do rock, they <laughs> don't they don't consider it credible rock. Like I remember when Wayne dropped the rock album years ago, like yeah. they was like, Oh, this ain't real rock. <clears throat> but why isn't it? Because they don't want it to be. They didn't want Jay Z to perform overseas. He performed um it's a festival, I can't remember the name. It's a and it's in um Oh yeah, he got he got the beefing with um <laughs> Today is gonna be the yeah, yeah, that group. Yeah, I remember. They didn't want him to perform and so he learned um he learned from the leader of Coldplay how to play the guitar like that week. Yeah. <laughs> so he could just play the guitar with one of his songs. But that's what Wayne did but, at first. I mean, prove and your then point, he performed though. like one of their songs or some yeah. shit like that. Like, like fuck at you. the festival they yeah. would have Yeah. Prove your point. Like I think that we fit anywhere that we make room for. Yeah. Period. And that. that's just what it is. It does like everything starts with the drum. 
know yeah. what I'm saying? And we can get on anything with a drum. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. We can be on any genre and make it Music pop. started in Africa. Absolutely. Here we you know, go. Hidden the colors. <laughs> that's why I was trying to find out if her creative sound you came know from. What I'm saying. <laughs> Your Ethiopian roots. You dig crate digging for that you. one, man. So that's before you great. came to the states, you know what I'm saying like, <laughs> yeah. that's crazy. Not your pilgrimage here. I live. Like, matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and narrate that shit for her. So before she came to the States, <laughs> she used to see the elders run around the village playing the shit. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? And she used to just be mesmerized by the elders while they was just <laughs> out there. And she's seeing them, you know, shucking uh, certain certain vegetables. And then they got the other elders shucking. over here playing. And it's just like she was just so inspired by that that when she got older and she started making her own music, that's all she could think about was yeah. those vegetables. elders yeah. shucking the vegetables over here, <laughs> them playing the bongos oh, over here, <laughs> them do like. And then yeah, it's like, yo, it's just, vegetables. it's just shucking in my blood. Shit. It's just in her blood. That's all it is. I can't. This nigga met me in high school. It's in her blood. <laughs> her Ethiopian blood. Her vegetable shucking. That shit Ethiopian. is her heritage, right that there. Boy. Know yourself. Know your world. Yeah, wow, this shit. Guys, you might be a princess. I need to look into it. You should. I'm starting to see yeah. it more and more. <laughs> My forehead. The crazy shit anything. though, like you <laughs> might fuck around and see one of them statues or something that looked like just Yo. like you. Like, <laughs> Honestly, it's like oh shit. You go over there on vacation. They like, hey, uh, not. No. F yeah. <laughs> they, and then they gonna point. They gonna be like, "Yo, it's Queen, whatever the fuck." What? <laughs> Probably. Man, I hope you on good standing with the people when we get back, like to Africa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> truly, I cannot. Oh man, y'all, I'm not Ethiopian. I just want to clear That's that a up. Good look. It's love with for Google. Ethiopia, though. Yo, it's a massive, massive community of Ethiopians everywhere. Uh, yeah, and they are always fly. I don't know. I'm okay. looking my yeah, not nah, yeah. Like to, I, I don't know what it is about Ethiopia. Asshole. Not even being shit, funny. No shit. <laughs> and I've always gone to a nice Ethiopian bar and gotten fucked up. Like Ethiopian bars are the shit. Shout out to Ethiopia. Oh man, in DC. Yes, girl. We still yo, and they food life. is they food is crazy too. Yeah, like that shit. Sure. Spices, yeah, motherfucker. I, I might be <laughs> Ethiopian, girl. Yeah. I'm really starting to. Like, <laughs> I might pull one of your hairs out tonight and send it off. <laughs> Damn. They're going to have it forever. Well, you took the COVID shot, so I'll get a 23 to Tuskegee, 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 Tuskegee. Right. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to be the last one standing up this bitch because I got that COVID shot All right, four probably. years ago. Lunch. I'm just saying, if you can um like teleport and shit, <laughs> I need you to like practice on how to grab shit and take it with you. That part. It you know just keeps hitting the walls. I don't know. I don't know how that works either. <laughs> to bring things. You have to teleport the thing. Yeah. 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 So. If they can do it in Rick and Morty, then we can make it happen. I'm just saying. All we need to do is just get in the, in the mint before they burn the shit, bro. <laughs> like, you all see, the money they about it. to burn anyway. Like You know what? Oh, the government shutting down too, y'all. Like, yeah. Again. Not to get political. Again? Yeah. Now I like this not to get political, but let's get political. <laughs> Which was good? let's go. <laughs> yeah, they not they to get shut down again. I mean, yeah. <laughs> duh. It's but there's a lot of shit going on, so you know. It's Christmas time. The money's gone. Yeah. Drip drop. It's like every January they shut yeah. down for yeah. like a week. They do this shit all the time. <laughs> like, they think, and then we go ah, and nothing. It's happens. not like they do shit anyway. So like maybe they'll filibuster. <laughs> Who knows? I've seen the great of too, wrath. You pay too much attention in government. Um, ahead of the curve. <laughs> I went to school. That's <laughs> damn sure did. <laughs> Not filibuster. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Miss Lenore, sick. that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Real ones that know when I said the that. The filibuster. Miss Lenore, yeah, right. <laughs> shout out to Miss Burnsworth. That shit sound like a comic book gun. Go get the filibuster. <laughs> Thanos no, is coming. Filibuster. Right. We just keep talking. Thanos is coming. Go get the so filibuster. Nobody can actually shut the government down. It's terrible what they'll do. Yeah. You just be up there like and bullshit and bullshit and bullshit and party 
and, and bullshit, bullshit and, and, and party up. and that's it. Not to pass along. And that's what they get paid to do. Not to get political. Oh, but I stopped, y'all. That's nah. crazy. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, crazy. let's not fuck the money up. That part. The last niggas you want to go to war with is the government publicly. I love my city <laughs> Yo, and state. It's so funny. And country. <laughs> because we be sounding like straight up nationalists at home. I mean, <laughs> I like, am a nationalist. We be like, yo, I love America, yo. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, and no like, bullshit. Seriously. Nah, for it's sure. Like, yo, for real. It's scary. Over like, it's been a. This is all I know. It's a lot of bullshit that's happened in America. But yeah. it's my bullshit. This shit that but be wild. Like, bullshit. sometimes I be around my family and they be saying shit and I be like, mm. <laughs> ah, I ain't really with you on you this know, one. <laughs> You know you got it bad. You agree with Candace Owens. You <laughs> like sure. fuck shit. Well, you, you know what? If what? people make a good point, I'm going with the good That's point. That's it. That's yeah. it. That's a fact. I hate, I don't like the label because it's just political. All yeah. of it is just a whole shit show of a like a play. If you there's will. two sides of the same government. Yeah, they all got a puppet. Y'all black asses is not about to politicize <laughs> me to death. Girl, rap, rap, rap. You know why? Because you can. Because of your government. How y'all feel about Diddy? <laughs> don't do not do that. <laughs> I ain't touching it. I don't know. Anyway. I wait for the facts to come out. <laughs> I think they did. We about to turn this into that? <laughs> we about to turn this into that? I no. I ain't never. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I ain't about to speak bad on Diddy. I still got a career I'm trying to keep. That's what I'm saying. We about to, <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? If anything did happen, he can, I can. God I mean, him. he can come put, you know, the God guest list him. on revolt. I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm with that it. Would like, be I'm, I mean, <laughs> shit. I'm, there's questions that need to be answered. Nah, like he, Diddy. When are you gonna come out with another uh, last train of Paris? That's the real question. That's, like, that's what I'm talking about. You didn't like the first train to Paris. Who? <laughs> 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 that's wild. Ooh. All right, get out, Diddy. That's crazy. But well, yeah, man. So we before we wrap it up, uh, last question. What's next? Um, oof. I got an EP coming out with Position Music called um, In the Bag, uh, produced by Keep It Filthy. And um, I just dropped a song with T-Rific um, called Way Up. And we're doing a video that should be dropping next week. And... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing music, man. Making music every single day. That's it. Wowing the people. Wow. You never know. Y'all might get a uh, J. Josephine, Ja collab. Who knows? Somebody can get you time. in the studio. Hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. You're so busy, though. Yeah. Congratulations, man, man. Stay booked. Stay busy. Between man. this and that little damn, that little boy of mine. Oh man. <laughs> that motherfucker keep me on my toes. <laughs> like. Y'all look, shit is y'all crazy. light skin, colored eyed little niggas. You know what crazy. I'm saying? Looking right back at you. <laughs> yeah. You done had a, you done had you. Times two. Oh man. Cause oh, he shit. stand on what he stand on. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> None of that, that daddy, yeah, nigga. Nah, nigga, I want these Cheerios. No. <laughs> Alright, but uh, but these Cheerios though. <laughs> no, right. yeah, it's not over. No, and then he'll look at me like, yo, who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> like, nigga, I'm your dad, nigga. Who the f- you ain't mine? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that nigga bad. Like <laughs> I told him I told him no about something one time. That nigga came and hit me. I was like, oh nah, we gotta go hit this grass yeah, real quick. Like, like, he like he me back. and Yeah, you. we gotta we gotta we gotta mm-hmm. get it. Like we That's so cute. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. That's my dog though. <laughs> so yeah, tell them where to find you. All right, um, it's at J Josephine on Instagram at J Jose on X. It's called X now, not Twitter. J Josephine dot com. You still can... call it Twitter <laughs> on on habit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, right? On that tweet, uh-huh. but J Josephine dot com. You can get you can see all the new music and see all the new and recent placements. Um, you can pretty much just put my name in and I pop up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying you can find me anywhere. Yes. Yeah. So Shazam me. Make sure. It's there. It's, it's there. there. It's all there. So, and that's it. Thank you for having me. Just thank you for coming. Like, yeah. this shit was long overdue. I'm yeah. glad we did this. And y'all ain't got to leave, like, <laughs> unless y'all got to leave. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I mean? We can, you know, we can kick it. Poppy got to be there with That's what I'm 6 saying. 6 a.m. Oh, yeah. You know, that's what it is. <laughs> we old I'm now. Got to be up early and shit. Make sure you take your Metamucil in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> with my fucking uh, b- brain wheats and all that good stuff. Oh, that's yeah. Stuff. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Mushrooms is good for your brain too. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. But yeah, we out, man. <laughs> Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Do that. <laughs>